If you're a leader, business owner, CEO, employee, or just an individual that believes there's certain things you just cannot accomplish or get done, you're going to want to stay tuned in today's video because I'm going to teach you how you can. Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. As I grew up as an adult and had two children, Tori and Zachary, and any time they would come up to me with a story of how they could not get something done or could not accomplish anything, I'd always tell them there's no such word as the word can't. If we believe it can't be done, well, it can't be done. If we believe it can, it will be done. Now, my lovely wife taped a portion of the Grammys the other night. And there was this, it was the portion on Billy Joel. And there was this young man, Freddie Wexler, that started playing the piano as a young kid and always had dreams of meeting Billy Joel. He went on to become a successful producer, working with some greats, but his obsession consistently grew that he wanted to work with Billy Joel. I mean, he was a kid, he started playing the piano, and what is any kid playing the piano? Who do they want to meet? The piano man, Billy Joel. And that, that obsession came to a point that it started driving his wife a little crazy. To where when he turned 35 years old, his wife went on a mission to figure out how she could connect her husband with Billy Joel. And through some persistence, tenacity, and some connections, she finally made that happen. To where her husband had an appointment with Billy Joel for lunch. Billy came in, he ordered clams, and a BLT to go. And Freddie's thinking, oh, this guy wants to blast out of here. That 10-minute meeting turned into two and a half hours where they talked, they collaborated, they got to know each other, and they started working together. Now, Billy Joel, one of the greats, hadn't written a song for 30 years. 30 years! Because he didn't believe he had it in him. He wasn't having any fun doing it. He lost his mojo. He's one of the greats. And he didn't have the confidence to go out there and write a song and believe in himself. But Freddie Wexler saw obviously a lot more in Billy Joel at the time than Billy saw in himself. And through working together and his persistence, his tenacity, his stubbornness, Freddie, after two years, finally got Billy Joel to write a song, of which he played at the Grammys, of which, once again, was phenomenal. Billy Joel at his best. Freddie had that vision since he was a kid and keep obsessing about that vision. It didn't hold him back from creating a successful producing career, creating a successful business, working with some of the greats, but Freddie wouldn't have been, have been fulfilled until he worked with Billy. Now, Billy, on the other hand, just lost his mojo. And Freddie saw more in Billy at the time than Billy saw in himself. Just like a coach working with you would see more in you, your capabilities and your possibilities versus what you see in yourself. And when Billy finally saw what Freddie saw, the universe clicked in and he created beauty and magic in his song. So this story is all about not what you can't do. It's always about what you can. But most importantly, I think the story illustrates that you need somebody to see more in you than you've seen yourself so you can do the things that you can do that maybe you believe you can't because when you see in yourself what they see in you, boom, that's when the magic happens. Kudos to you, Billy Joe. Kudos to you, Freddie Wexler, for following your dream. And for any of you that still think you can't get something done and you want a guide to see more in you than you see in yourself right now, and just have that second set of eyes to see some things that you might not be seeing, reach out to somebody. Better yet, reach out to me. Schedule a call. Would like, love to chat. And as always, I want to thank you all for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. 
Feel free to put your comments in below. I want to wish you a productive, profitable week. I'll see you next time.